Hey, what's up, Star Wars fans from a galaxy far, far away? Welcome back to another episode focusing on Star Wars Unlimited. This time we're going to look at the two-player starter kit with Luke and Vader. And these basically come with everything you need to play. They're like two 30-card decks that you can play with someone immediately. So we're going to go through the deck a little bit, but I just want to show off some of the cards that are in here and some of the stuff you get in this pack. Because obviously in the last episode where we talked about this, I went, got really long-winded and we talked about this pre-release kit. Um, but I'm glad we did because, uh, you know, I got a lot of the stuff I wanted to say out of my system. And hopefully now we can just focus on the cards. But if you missed that video, we did get an awesome, awesome showcase card, which these apparently are really, really rare. And we got Inquisitor, which is a character I really like, the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels. Um, I loved him in season one. He was a great villain. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool. I'm glad we got this in foil. I don't know if there's, I still don't know. I didn't do any research between filming the last one and this one, if there's foil and non-foil versions of that, but it's just cool that we got a foil one that looks really awesome. Um, so yeah, there's, and there's a difference between that one, like the regular uh, kind of leader cards. And they look more like this. This is also came in the pre-release kit. You get a Vader and a Luke. Um, and these are exclusive, I think, to that release kit. So yeah, they say one of one and one of two on them, uh, or one of two and uh, two of two. But yeah, so these are what they normally look like. But here, you notice the art is, they have a different artist on it, and they move the text over and make it a little bit more stylized and focus more on the art. So for art collectors, I imagine these cards are something that are being heavily sought after, but also for collectors who just, you know, want to get the, you know, a really cool version of these cards, and those showcases are them. So you're going to see what more cards look like. We'll do it in here. I don't want to, like, double up and go through that whole deck again. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link to it down below. But here, I think I'm seeing teeth on the bottom. Boom. So, yeah, I completely destroyed the box, but who cares? Because I'm not going to keep it, because now I noticed these are in it, and these will keep our cards safe. So, boom, pop that, knock it down. Shazam, the force is with us. Look at that. Oh, and we got more token cards in here. Those were in the pre-release kit, so that's great. We got those. Um, and there's some cool accessories to this set that came out, like some cool boxes uh, that are like deck boxes that have like, you know, sh you can showcase one of your cards on it, and it's, they're really cool. They're magnetic. So there's some of those that we uh, ordered as well, and you will make a video on those accessories whenever they come in, but I don't know, they still even haven't shipped yet, and now it's been like, you know, a couple days or a week since the game came out. So I don't know when they're shipping, but uh, we got them at a really good deal, almost half price. So that's the only reason we ordered them. Um, so you'll see, you know, at least another Star Wars video after these unboxings where we'll go through the different accessories. But here, check that out. That's cool. At least for now, we have something to store our cards in along with this from the pre-release. So that's good. I'll take it. A win is a win. <laughs> Um, and then here we got more token cards, one for each player. So that's cool too. And then, oops, sorry, bumped the camera. We got another quick start rule booklet, which is awesome. Um, so in case you missed the pre-release, this apparently is supposed to give you everything you need to play. Um, like I said, you got your Vader deck here and you got your Luke deck here. Um, so we're going to look at those here in a second, see what those cards look like. But first we have some posters here that have that artwork on it how cool is that but it's not just a poster of the artwork which i'll show up here looks really cool that's great actually that's a great image but it also doubles as a like a mat so you can play on even though it's a paper mat but still and here i'll show it off up here too so just to show you how the cards have to be laid out there's the setup, some instructions, you know, how the round is structured over here. So this is cool. This is just like a little cheat sheet, learn how to play the game kind of thing, walk you through it step by step. From what I hear, the game is really easy to pick up. It's, uh, you know, doesn't have years of rules behind it like Magic or some other card games do that have been out there for a while. They really made this to be entry level where anyone could pick it up and play it. And I think the average game lasts about 20 minutes. So if you play in a tournament, as far as I know, you have to play three rounds best out of three. So you get one hour to play your opponent and that way it's maximum amount of time. You could beat them in two rounds right away and shut them out. Or if you win one, they win one and then you have to play the third round, you got that full hour. And on average, the game takes between 10 and 20 minutes to play one full round. So that's really cool that they made it like that and designed it that way. Because I know for me at least, 
I don't have the greatest attention span sometimes. So every time I try to play a card game like Magic, Blue got into it a little bit more. But for me, like after like if the match went like more than like 20, 30 minutes, I started to shut down and be like, all right, how do I, I just want to end this. I don't care if I lose. I just want to end this. Or you work your way to a stalemate. And then obviously uh, that's not fun either. So to me, I'm, I'm all for shorter rounds and stuff. But look at that. Look at that Vader. This artwork's amazing. I actually really like the art. And like I said, I know not every drawing is someone's cup of tea. And some of the designs of the characters people are, you know, um, very opinionated on, which is makes sense. You know, art is subjective like that. But I, a lot of the art that I've seen, I've liked so far. Um, but there has been some cards. So when I was looking through Blue's Binder where I'm like, meh, you know, like, yeah, I don't, I'm not particularly a fan of this one or this drawing. But uh, overall, it is cool to see some of these characters, you know, in in Star Wars, like in, in a card set series. Because um, like I said, I don't really collect cards, although it seems like we're getting into it a little bit more. But um, but no, really, I just Moon Knight was the cards we were collecting. These we'll probably get some more of, but I won't make a ton of videos on them. Um, and then, except for when we play, probably, with my friend John. And then uh, also the Halo cards. We're going crazy on Halo cards. We already ordered a case of them. So you're going to see a lot of Halo content uh, when those cards come out. So these look exactly like the one that came in the uh, the the other the pre-release set. But, oh, maybe not. Hold on. There does seem to be some kind of difference. Yep. The artwork is different. So check that out. So the pre-release ones, they really are one of two and two of two. Um, they live up to that because look, the, the artwork is different. Different artist. Um, David Busan on this one and Borgia Pedato on this one. Oh, wow. So we compared them two before in the last video. Yeah, both great artists though. I like their styles. Um, but yeah, different, different art here. And this one is card 10 out of 252. And I think, I think that, yeah, obviously that's one we need because I don't think we got a Darth Vader leader card. Uh, not that I remember seeing anyway. So very cool. Let me put these back real quick. And then, like I said, this is a pre-made Darth Vader deck. So what you're going to get in here is Darth Vader. You're going to get the Death Star, the Command Center. Um, and then you're going to get some experience, learned experience. Um, and then on the flip side is token upgrades. So shield and armor and stuff. Uh, you got a TIE Fighter. You got two of those. In each deck, you can have up to three of a single card. So if you find like a, a regular card that you like, a rare, legendary, uncommon, whatever it is, even commons, that you're like, oh, these will complement each other well, you can have up to three to increase your chances of getting them or to have three of them to use in your battle. So, um, so it looks like they're giving us three of the Stormtroopers. We got an Admiral Ozell, First Legion Stormtrooper, Admiral Mati, who is a, uh, oh, creepy looking, <laughs> uh, Snowtrooper Lieutenant. I love the art on this one. Look at that. I don't know. Who's the art? Um, Eric Lee. Very nice work. I like that. That Snowtrooper is looking really cool. Um, oh, Probe Droid. Awesome. A Mod Mir is the artist. So down here, yeah, they put the artist name. They put um, LFL and FFG. I actually can't remember what those stand for. So someone correct me down below. Um, and then the, the commonality of it, um, the SOR. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a couple things down here I got to do a little bit more research on. Um, but yeah, they put a little pen for artists next to that. And then the common link and then the number of the card in the set. So yeah, please feel free to educate me down below. I don't know everything about this yet. I watch people unbox, but I was mainly staring at the artwork a lot of the times trying to decide if which ones I liked and which one I didn't and trying to absorb some knowledge when I heard it. But I really just got, you know, I haven't been feeling well, so I wasn't the best listener. Uh, so yeah, we got cell block guards, general reveres, uh, grand moff Tarkin. Oh, that's cool. Cool card. Imperial interceptor, which we uh, had in the other box, I think ATSTs, which we got, we got a foil one too. So gladiator star destroyer. Nice blizzard assault ATAT. -AT. That's an, un uh, that's an uncommon, and then this is a rare Palpatine, um, a rare Relentless, Vader's lightsaber. Whoa, it has an S on it. What's an S? I thought it was just legendary. I said that in my last video, so I got to edit that. That was wrong. Um, I'll have to put a little uh, like caption on it uh, now. So yeah, there's an S card for Vader's lightsaber. We got three of them. All right, more commons. We got the Force Choke, Resupply. Oh, that's funny that that's in this deck. Um, open fire, 
But sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need rebel cards too, depending on, you know, how you're going to battle and which, you know, some of your main cards, how much, you know, m I call it mana, obviously because of magic, but what you need to like tap to use them. So sometimes you do need some uh, rebel cards too. Um, open fire. Oh, look at that one. I am your father. That's great. Event card. No. Oh, wait, hold on. Read this. I just saw that no on there. Deal seven damage to an enemy unit unless its controller says no. If they do, you draw three cards. So if you play this, you're going to damage uh, their, the enemy uh, unit seven with a seven damage. Unless the person, when you put the card down, they go, no. <laughs> and uh, if, the, if you do, then obviously you don't do any damage and instead you draw three cards. So it's still a good thing for you either way because um, you might need those extra three cards to attack. But that's just funny that they did that. That's a neat card, actually. Um, I like that it's kind of meta and interactive in that way. So an overwhelming barrage. So there you go. There's our, you know, cards from the Vader deck. And then let's open the Luke one and see what that looks like. And I like that they're doing like, you know, wax paper and different papers for the wrappings as opposed to, um, you know, plastic and stuff. I guess that's obviously a thing of discussion a lot with the like collectibles is plastic and the amount being used. So uh, it's cool. They went with paper um, cheaper, I think, in some cases, too. So. So, yeah, there's our Luke again. Great image. I love that. And what card is he? He's card five. Okay. So sweet. Like I said, I don't think we have a Luke either. So this was good that we got this box. So we got some experience there. And we got our token upgrades. We got our surgical droid, you know, for when our hand gets cut off. <laughs> um, hey, R2. Sweet. We got um, Alliance X-Wing. Cool. Hey, C-3PO. He's an S card. Wait, hold on, hold on. And so is R2. These are S cards. So there was more S cards in that Vader deck too than, than I no, even noticed. Um, so what's what's S mean? Is it maybe standard? No, it's, I don't know. Let's, let me know in the comments. Please educate me. Uh, Rebel Pathfinder, restored ARC 170. Ooh, look at that Leia. Oh, that's cool. I like the art actually on that one. It's a, it's a cool shot of her and she's shooting. So that's, that's really cool. Um, all right, Rogue Operative, Fleet Lieutenant, Fleet Lieutenant, Wing Leader, got a Yoda, a Cloud City Wing Guard, System Patrol Craft, Counselor Security Force. Oh, man, those guys, you know they're going to die <laughs> if you know who they are. Uh, when Vader opens that door, dude, those guys are gone. Um, Azatuck Liberator Gunship. Very cool. General Dodana. All right, Snow Speeder, Chewbacca. Hey, that's a cool drawing of Chewbacca. I'm not a, a big fan of the Chewbacca that drawing that's on the leader card. Um, I saw that one earlier and I was like, eh, it's okay. But this one, this looks really cool. That's a great image. Um, Luke Harrington is the artist. Good job, Luke Harrington. I like that image. Um, so Vigilant Honor Guards, Obi-Wan Kenobi by Amelie Hutt. That's another great image. I bet you Blue's going to want that card. That's cool looking. Um, Han Solo, Resilient, Luke's lightsaber. Okay, another S. How was Obi-Wan? Okay, so Obi-Wan's an a, a R. He's a, so there's no legendaries, I don't think, in these decks. Um, so we got an S. Oh, hey, look, speaking of new hand, we're going to need that droid. We'll get that new hand there. In, in real life, I make that joke a lot about getting a robot hand. Um, and it's pretty much a st a st my way of referencing Star Wars. That's pretty much it. Um, asteroid Sanctuary, which it turns out is not an asteroid. <laughs> uh, surprise Strike. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Waylay and Vanquish. So there's your kind of like dark side card in a way um, to balance out the deck. So very cool. So yeah, this is what you get. Um, when you get the uh, the two player, you get the two decks here to start with. Like I said, about 30 cards each, I think, 30 or 40. And that way you can just play a quick round. Um, each team will get their tokens. So you got those there for each team. You got your rule booklet. You got your box for each team's cards, which is really cool. And then you get your play mats and posters. 
for each team just to learn off with. And so I imagine like once you use these and learn with, then maybe you'll upgrade to like a, an actual fabric mat at some point and then maybe frame these posters if you want to put them on your wall. We're in Star Wars Central right now. We got these. Definitely buy a box of this two-player starter kit if you'd like, if you want to learn how to play. This has everything you need, literally, for you and one other person to play a couple rounds of this to get familiar with it. And it gives you some great cards to start off with. So that's awesome. And I think it's like 30 bucks for one of these, you know, 25, 30 bucks. Not a bad deal. And then, like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on the pre-release kit, but if you are able to, pick one of these up too. I think these are only 25 bucks. So pick one of those up for yourself as well. And then the next video, we are going to open a hobby box of Spark of Rebellion. And I'm going to try to keep it short uh, because 24 packs and 16 cards per pack and the way I talk and ramble, that could be a one hour video. So let me get to it. I want to record that before I go to bed tonight. So thank you so much for watching the show. Let me know down below what you thought of these. Are you going to be collecting this set? Do you have any questions about them? Let me know in the comments. And if you have anything to educate me on, please do that too, because I am a total noob when it comes to this stuff. And even Blue is learning about this as well. And he's more focused on how to play the game, whereas I'm more interested in some of the art and stuff. But I want to learn how to play too. And that's why I got one of these for myself so I could learn. And uh, for him too, if he wants to use it. So yeah, but let us know down below if you can educate us on anything. We'd love to hear more about this game and talk more about it. And then we're going to do that in the next video as well. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.